FIFA 25 is now out on every platform. Xbox Series S and PS5 do get the next-gen version with all the new features and cross-gen play. So between the three consoles, which one should you play it on? And can the weaker Series S keep up with the more powerful hardware? So here's my comparison of EA Sports FC 25 on Xbox Series S versus X versus PlayStation 5. Starting with the game size, it's 50.4 gigabytes on the Series S and X and a slightly larger 54.7 gigabytes on PS5. Loading times are up next. Going from the main menu to kicking the ball takes about 15 seconds on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Series X takes 16 seconds, so PS5 wins. But Xbox does have quick resume. You can be playing a completely different game and return to FIFA in only about 10 seconds. This of course only works for single player offline games. Last year's change from FIFA to FC brought with it an updated game engine. Better lighting meant everything looked more photorealistic. While FC25 takes that to the next level, adding ray tracing with improved lighting. You can see here on the Series S, FC25 looks more colorful, more vibrant, better lighting, better shadows compared to FC24. The pitch looks better than ever. The game plays better as well. I notice the pace is a little slower. You feel more in control of your players and it's not as easy for people to just walk through your entire defense and score. I like the little game play refinements they did here. On the more powerful Series X and PS5, that same improvement in lighting is pretty obvious when doing a side-by-side -side comparison. FC25 of course has ray trace, ambient oscillation and lighting. You can see the light hitting the players faces. The intensity or the quality of that lighting seems to be a bit lower on the Series S but it's still there. While we're at it, might as well talk about the player models. Yeah, they look better on the more powerful Series X and PS5. They're there's more detail, the resolution is higher, the quality is higher, the lighting and the shadows are better, especially when you zoom in like I did right here. During the cutscenes, all three consoles target 30 FPS. Series S targets 1440p dynamic resolution, while the Series X and PS5 can target up to 4K dynamic. The tiny Series S isn't too bad here. You really have to look closely to notice that lower quality. I mean, I'm having to zoom in four times here just to show you the difference. FC25 is getting graphic settings for the first time on console. The default is this favor visuals mode, which I've been showing off up until now. But there is a second mode called favor resolution. This mode is only available on the Series X and PS5. The Series S doesn't get this option. Now I played around with this feature and honestly I couldn't tell much of a difference. It all looks the same to me. Favor visuals is meant to have better ray trace, lighting and graphic details but with slightly lower resolution. While that optional favor resolutions mode I guess locks to a higher resolution but sacrifices some of that ray trace and graphic details. During the gameplay, the game visually looks like FC24, but as I showed before, the lighting seems better, the pitch seems more vibrant. Series S targets 1080p and 60 FPS, while Series X and PS5 target 1440p dynamic and also 60 FPS. If you're playing on a small monitor, Series S is good enough here. If you do play on a larger 4K TV, then you might benefit from the more powerful Series X and PS5. Let's now talk about the performance, the frame rate. During the replays, the cutscenes, all of the game intros, it's all 30 FPS just like past FIFA games. In fact, it's the same 30 FPS trend we've seen in other EA Sports games. There are drops here, especially on the weaker Series S, which drops to like 20 FPS at times. Series X and PS5 also get drops, but only a single frame here and there. During the gameplay where the frame rate actually matters, all three consoles are 60 fps and they're a solid lock 60 fps without any drops everything is refined well optimized there aren't any performance issues i guess the only thing is when you do score a goal you'll notice the frame rate go down to 30 fps during the replay and then jump back up to 60 again once the match restarts so that's what you need to know about fc25 on xbox series s versus x versus playstation 5 pick it up on either the three consoles you'll be fine. If you do have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, EA Play is included in that, so check out the 10 hour free trial before buying it. For the rest of the video, check out some more gameplay with that FPS counter shown.
Well, the corner, corner relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium. Real chance. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Real Madrid, and they face Al Nasser. Well, it doesn't matter how good your players are or what formation they're playing in, you have to earn the right to... Eder Militao. Now with Bellingham. Kylian Mbappe. Oh, what an opportunity! And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! What can Real do from this position? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, it's in their hands now. Can they just hold on? Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's through here. Oh, he's done it! And we might just have witnessed the goal that secures the title. Well, what a moment that could turn out to be. They've just got to defend well now. Regain possession. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Might work out. Can he finish them off? And a goal! And it could be the one that puts a seal on the title. Well, that should be it, Derek. Surely they can't let it slip from here. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And Haaland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. Siala. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Kimmich. And return to kill. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama.